Hi, welcome to Conversion Conversations. This is Cameron, and today I'm taking a look at Transformers Generations Studio Series 106. We have Rise of the Beasts, Optimus Primal. And Optimus Primal here is looking maybe a little small for a leader class, but he turns into a pretty dang cool looking gorilla. This is, again, mostly based off the concept art rather than the actual in-screen rendition. But in Optimus Primal's case, I feel like this is still pretty close to how he looked in the movie. He does come with a bunch of accessories, so we see his backdrop here. He's got, and, and excuse my hands there, I've been painting all day. Um, so he's got two, the, uh, the transwarp key, which does split into two. Pretty neat. Uh, unfortunately, I wish that there were like 5mm pegs or something on each side. Um, there are on the inside, but he just struggles to hold it, which is a little unfortunate. He comes with some accessories that aren't his, such as uh, Studio Series Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime's axe. And I realized that doing the giveaway now, I, I like it would have been probably cool if I could have included the axe in it. But I guess I just have an extra axe now. He comes with a chain weapon. Uh, which can hook into his scimitars that are on his back. This was, again, something seen, I think, in his concept art, uh, not something that uh, he actually did in the movie. Um, but it does have a secondary function, which is it can be used as a uh, battle traps flail weapon, which we can show that off. That is a very, you know, unfortunately, so like you saw here, this scimitar plugs in really easily. This side is super tight. I might actually end up shaving that down a bit um, just so I don't damage the uh, the plastic there. But yeah, so he can hold that like so. He comes with two scimitars and they are painted really nicely. I like that there's three colors here. There's two plastic colors and then the, the metal scimitar and that looks pretty dang good. And Optimus Primal himself, he, you know, again, like I said, doesn't really look like a Voyager class, but looks like a, or doesn't really look like a leader class, but looks like a really nicely painted Voyager class. I'm loving the use of color here. We have, you know, a nice dark metal. I was really terrified that this was going to end up being that unpainted prototype plastic, but that looks really nice. It's contrasted with his fur texture and dark black color that like charcoal gray color, and then these silver accents, which there is a little bit of battle damage on, but in this case, I think it looks really nice. He does have a really nicely painted head sculpt. I do really like that. I think I would have preferred, since so much of his face is silver, if the jaw was also silver. The jaw does open. Uh, I don't love the way it looks open. Um, I think maybe he needed some teeth or something. That just looks... May, or, and it's also like the cut line, right? It's it's an odd, it's an odd looking cut line there, but it can open, so that's nice. It is a wiggling ball joint on that head. We do have 360 at the shoulder. We can butterfly out, so if you want to get him, you know, in monkey poses, you can absolutely do that. That looks really, really nice, like so. I do appreciate that a lot. Uh, he can take his shoulder out pretty far, and the shoulder armor will start coming off, but it doesn't look that bad. Um, we do have bicep swivel here. We have a 90 degree bend at the elbow. We do have wrist swivel, as well as two separate, like his fingers move in pairs, and both, so each hand has two positions that it can take, which I like. I think with the gorilla pose, I would have preferred a ball joint instead of just the mushroom peg to get just some additional arm swivel, but still really, really nice. We don't have any waist swivel here. It's locked in due to transformation, but we could if we wanted to kind of cheekily break things apart uh, to get just a little bit of extra. Um, but it, as is, it kind of clips down like so. Same with the legs. The legs really just have a hip that can go out so far. Uh, it does have a thigh swivel and it can swing back and forth, not super far. But again, depending on how much you want to cheat, you can get extra posability out. So all in all, I think it is a pretty posable and pretty cool looking gorilla. One thing I do want to note about this gorilla mode is I really, really like these proportions. 
comparing him to the Kingdom uh, Optimus Primal, we can see here the difference in proportions. While this is, you know, going for a more realistic gorilla design, I feel like this is the more realistic gorilla proportion. I really like his chunkiness, the thick limbs, the broad shoulders. That all works really, really well in his favor. Um, also, I think this does help illustrate the comparison a little bit better where we can see kind of, okay, if we're, if we're talking purely on size and mass, this definitely feels more closer to the leader price point. But I also would say that this feels a little small for a Voyager, so, you know, it, your mileage may vary. But here's how the two Optimus Primals look together, and I love... Again, I really like that Rise of the Beasts did, like, a different version of the character. I like both of them. I like, you know, having a representation of both versions of the character on my shelf. The next thing would be to show the Maximals all together. And they do make a good-looking crew. Obviously, the, the only one from the movie we're missing is Ape Link. And I don't think Ape Link has been announced yet. It would be a remold here. But for the Maximals that made it to Earth and, uh, and are, are, are fighting alongside the Autobots. Here's how they look. And I, like, you know, I, I think I've been kind of hit or miss on the, the Maximal so far, but Optimus Primal does help bring the whole team together a lot. I, I really like the way they look as a crew. Uh, and I think it's fair to compare them in the robot mode to the Terracons, um, but also in alt mode, since they do some fighting in both... Uh, if we adjust our camera down. If you want to see kind of how like an eventual Ape Link remold would go against Scourge, here's how they look together. Scourge is a tall, tall boy. And with the other Terracons, and obviously this isn't Studio Series Nightbird, but here we can see kind of where like Voyager class, uh, Battle Trap, and Leader class Optimus Primal in this mode kind of look to be about the same size and mass Optimus Primal does feel a little small. But I like how things scale up here. All right, with comparisons out of the way, let's get into transformation. First thing we're going to do, we'll just move his arms out of the way a little bit, and we're going to lift up. This belly is tabbed in at the bottom. Get your fingernail under there and get that up. There we go. That lets us lift this whole section up, flipping it around like so. Then on the back end, we can untab his butt. That feels like a much looser connection uh, than on the front. We can come in, lift up this tab. We want to kind of collapse it like so, so the pieces are parallel to each other along the curve. Then we can flip it and close it with this tab here going into the slot right here. Awesome. Then we can take the whole head and move it up. Maybe move the head here so we can get the whole backpack up. There we go. Uh, now we can open up his chest, his robot chest. We can just pull that whole section open. Uh, we can pull up on this head section, flipping things around to hide his gorilla head. And then before we close things back up, we want to tilt his gorilla head up so his chin is pointing out. And that gives us enough room to close up and show the robot head. The backpack here, uh, this hinge is really flexible. It can come back down now. Uh, and it forms up kind of that like cowl backpack that he has in the movie. With that section done, we can move on to his legs. And they essentially just accordion out. There is a, a little tab here that we want to undo. Uh, we can pull down on the heel like so, and that hides his gorilla feet and moves out his robot foot. Then we can untab the front of the shin from the thigh, and things will accordion up like so. And what that lets us do is there's a little tab again that things will meet up where there's a tab here, a slot here. We can flip out that uh, knee guard, and then put in there we go get things and there's a particular angle here that we want the pieces at like so same thing on this side again we can 
pull out, flip that knee piece out, rotate the gorilla foot so that, you know, it sits flush against the calf. And with that out of the way, the uh, this piece can sit against that silver piece, and then this piece can close up around the tab like so. And we can see how much that like changes his proportions. That's another thing I really like about this toy. Uh, next, we've got these arms. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm a little under the weather, so I know I'm a little congested in coffee. Uh, we are going to open up this forearm piece, open up this back piece, and it is on a double hinge that lets us sit it out here, open up this black piece, and then making sure that the hand is collapsed all the way, it's a really, really tight fit, we can rotate the whole hand into his forearm, like so, taking the, uh, the gorilla forearm, and we're going to rotate this piece around, uh, like so. That lets us close out that little piece and then this piece on top. And there is a tab and a slot that'll fit together right there. And then this black piece will come back down, covering up that forearm. And there we've got his kind of big bicep-y or like forearm strong Popeye strength robot arm. Same thing on this side. Opening up this section, pulling back this section, Pulling back this section, making sure that hand is closed all the way, lets us flip 180 to swap the ape hand for the robot hand. Taking this section and spinning it around gives us room to collapse that black piece in, collapse this piece on top of it, bring down this section, uh, and here we have Optimus Primal in his robot mode. And I really like this toy in this mode. I like the ape mode. I like how much it feels different from ape to robot mode. I think the, the adjusting of the proportions works really, really well in making Optimus Primal feel very, very different from his previous incarnations. Before we get a closer look at the figure, let us go announce the winner of last week's giveaway. All right, it's time to announce the winner of Transformers Generations Studio Series Gamer Edition 04 Megatron. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I'm, I'm still, I think, I, I don't feel sick, but I'm definitely, I mean, you, you can hear it. Goddamn. Uh, okay, I think I'm also going to center myself from now on in my, I, I feel like this is the best. So you can see like over, over here is all the names and then over there is the entries and you know I think that makes the most sense. So on the left we have all of the people who left comments always appreciate the comments if you entered the giveaway then you got a heart over here on the right are the 17 entries and let's see who won Megatron. Number six. Oh, Tim Albrecht won it. Tim Albrecht 2311, congratulations. <coughs> Again, thanks for sharing. Uh, and uh, keep an eye out. Tomorrow we have one more announcement about the uh, the Extra Life campaign, as well as announce the winner of the, the last giveaway for the week. All right, uh, let's get back to the review. So coming back in on Optimus Primal again, really great paintwork. I love the battle damage in this case, where it's silver that's been kind of scratched up to show the the base plastic, that looks really good. And I know that's not how it works. They have a stencil that they, they, they spray on top of and it leaves room. But that looks really good up top. Again, really good brushwork. We have a nice Maximal logo there. And that is a fantastic head sculpt. My only complaint is, in the movie, it felt like the whole movie he had his mouth plate on. I would have liked an alternate head to show that version. But I like the head sculpt. I like the shape. I like the lines. That looks really great. We've got 360 on the shoulder here. Uh, can go up plenty. The head uh, wiggles around a little bit. Can nod and twist and stuff. Even though he's got like these collar pieces, that doesn't seem to impede his motion very much, which is really nice. Bicep swivel here. Now more, slightly more than 90 degrees, it feels like, on the elbow. 
we do still have wrist articulation. We do still have finger articulation, even in the robot hands, which are smaller, which I appreciate. We now have waist articulation, which is great. We have even more leg articulation than before. Can kick up like that. And if you want to break the sculpt a little bit, you can kind of cheat to get a little more motion out of things if you wanted to, which I do appreciate. Get things back where they were. We have thigh swivel here, and it's pretty good. We have, again, the same knee that I showed before. We have ankle tilt that is very dramatic inward, which I appreciate a lot. We do have ankle, uh, not ankle, uh, heel bits that I forgot to flip out earlier. They are tiny, and I don't know how much they do, but they are there. Come on. There we go. So yes, Optimus Primal is pretty fantastic. He feels like he's got more than Voyager engineering, even if he still seems to be mostly a Voyager. And we can compare him. Again, these feel like very distinct versions of the same character. I really, really, really like how different they look in comparison to each other. I like both of them. Uh, I, I, I prefer this, like, characterization more, um, but Optimus Primal from Rise of the Beast is still a really cool design, uh, even if this isn't, like, 100% screen accurate, uh, like I wish Studio Series was, like, if that's what they wanted to be, then go for it. Um, he still looks really freaking cool, especially with his blades. Um, yeah, I, I really, really like it. And let's get some comparisons. So, again... The Maximals together, and we'll include Air Razor. Air Razor obviously never transformed in the movie, um, but if we wanted to show them together, I feel like his forearm is always in her way. But there is how they look together. We can we can put Rhinox over here. I mean, it's right. It's it's what three Voyagers and a leader of two Voyagers, a, a a deluxe and a leader like they. Uh, there's some big bots and out of them this is the best one if you're gonna get one maximal get optimus primal uh, like again like we've got these weird proportions where these legs are short on rhinox on cheetor the articulation is weird he's loose and he's got like it feels like he's got weirdly short arms um air razor looks great i'll eventually do a review when i find those little pieces i'm missing um but you know, if you want the Optimus Primal, uh, if you want the best Maximal, it is the Studio Series Optimus Primal is fantastic. He does, again, if we're comparing him with like Terracons, he looks great with the Scorpions. I wish he and Scourge battled it out in the movie. It feel, felt like a really missed opportunity to not have him fighting Scourge, especially with what Scourge did to Ape Link. But again, we can show kind of how they look together, and we've got, you know, so there you can see, like, maybe a little bit more mass in robot mode than a Voyager, but doesn't feel as big as Scourge, um, and obviously we have these, like, extra bits, so we've got this chain thing, like I showed, it can hook onto the swords if you want, or get this out, so here is uh, Battle Trap's ball, we want to put it in this three millimeter hole instead of elsewhere. Uh, and then obviously he can hold it. Hold it. Come on. Maybe. Or maybe we go here. So we can get, you know, the, the, the ball and chain look from the movie. Which I do appreciate. That looks pretty dang good. Um, yeah, so Optimus Primal comes with a bunch of stuff. Um, not everything, like, I don't super get value out of the Transwarp key. This is great for your Optimus Prime. But as is, uh, I do recommend him. Even if he's small for a leader class figure, uh, I just think he's really fun. He's really good engineering. He looks really good. Um, it's the one of the Studio Series figures that makes me feel the most... Like, oh yes, yeah, so this is the Studio Series version of Optimus Primal. I want to check out the retail version at some point, uh, but for now, 
Easy recommendation. If you can get him for 50 bucks, I think he's worth 50 bucks. It's just great. Um, if you can get him for cheaper, then, you know, even better deal. That's it for today's video. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day. Bye.